Hi, I'm Tudor Davies, Director of Technology at Spectrum Signal Processing. This is the SDR 2010. This is a demo system that we've constructed for you. I'd like to show you what's inside. This is a standard PC using an Intel i7 processor. Actually, it's a Core 2 Duo in this box. We have the graphics card, and we also have Spectrum's Pro 2910 board, which is the carrier board here. And on, mounted on the 2910, there's an XMC 1131, which is a dual, da a dual ADC board with a user FPGA, the Vertex 5 FX 130T. Also mounted on the Pro 2910 is an XMC 2131, which is similar to the 1131. It's got an FX 130T and two DACs on it. The ADCs in this run at up to uh, 250 mega samples per second. We're running it at 200 mega samples per second. And the DAC runs it up to 300 mega samples per second. We're also running that at 200 mega samples per second to match the ADC. The demo that we'll be doing today We'll be accepting data in to one of the ADCs on the XMC 1131 through this connector here. The signal that we're putting into that is it's a 70 megahertz IF signal, which is coming from this vector signal and uh, vector signal generator. We're also combining that with a noise a, sig uh, a noise source from Noisecom. <coughs> the noise is going through this attenuator and is being combined with the signal from the signal generator in this combiner. So that goes through this wire into the input of the SDR2010. What we're demonstrating here today is the use of MATLAB and Simulink to make it easy to get your signal processing system to work. So all of the processing that's being done in the FPGA is being done using uh, MATLAB and Simulink and Xilinx system generator. All the signal processing that's happening on the PC is being done using MATLAB. What Spectrum adds to this, the special feature that we add, is the connection between the MATLAB Simulink code running in the FPGA and the MATLAB code running in the PC. We are using Spectrum's library, QuickCom, which is common to all Spectrum platforms to make that connection. And we provide with this system examples that show you how to get data at high speed from the FPGA over to the PC processor. This gets you the ability to do high speed processing in the multi-core processes that are available today. In this demo, we're going to uh, use the, the MATLAB on the PC to generate a, do a signal generator. In the FPGA, we have a digital down converter and we down convert that data. We send the data in uh, complex formats, uh, complex samples, INQ, at 36 mega samples per second, INQ, over the PCI Express bus, or PCI Express links, actually, over to the PC processor. In the PC, we've got MATLAB running. And I'm just going to start up the MATLAB demo. Just type demo GUI. MATLAB prompt that brings us up this GUI and we will set it to use real data from the Pro 2910 and it's going to be complex and I'm going to set the center frequency of the digital down converter. This controls the FPGA down converter. I'm going to set that to 70 megahertz so that it matches the input from the signal generator and then we'll just run and so now you can see the signal on the spectrum analyzer display. We are also using a spectrogram which is scrolling upwards and so that gives you the ability to detect signals over time. So I'm just going to change the frequency here so you can see what happens when you move the frequency. You can see that the signal changes on the spectrum analyzer display and also on the spectrogram. Next, what we're going to do is increase the noise level. Now you can see, as the noise level gets lower, it gets harder and harder to see it on the spectrum analyzer display, but you can still see it quite nicely on the spectrogram display. 
This is the power of this type of display. So now, the signal-to-noise ratio is so low that you can't even see it on the spectrum analyzer display, but you can still see it on the spectrogram display. So these types of displays are easy to do in MATLAB. You can make, you can make your algorithm changes, quickly change it, and try another algorithm. And that's what the special features are with this. It makes it easy for you to do experiments with your signal generator, and you can signal processing algorithms, and you can quickly get your algorithms actually deployed out into the field with minimal uh, translation time to go from your MATLAB simulation to your target system. So that's the SDR 2010 from Spectrum Signal Process.